Oh, oh, you shouldn't have did this. This is why I didn't want to do it. I was like, Nick, that's kind of, what are you doing, man? Like, like it this will be very hard because it will just seem like I'm just attacking this guy. I am being wholly partisan and it is hard not to be partisan because he's done many things to alienate even nice neutral people. So essentially Eric July made a comic book, ESOM, and now is getting sued over it by a religious organization also called ESOM. And into this mix is an online YouTuber called Vito, and he admits to being a troll. He admits to trying to gain attention. He does a lot of comedy with him and his friend. So he decides to get into the mix and attack Eric and make fun of him. And Eric, of course, responded badly. He's responding badly overall, trying to censor people. This was no exception, so they got into a big thing on Twitter, just going back and forth. But now, magically, somehow, apparently, we got it all wrong. He never made fun of Vito, and no, he didn't charge him with being part of a conspiracy. Did you accuse him of starting that lawsuit? No. Prior to him tweeting that? No. No? No. You didn't say that he and Vito were behind that? No. Now, I follow this thing on Twitter pretty thoroughly, so I've seen a ton of his tweets, people coming at him, him responding to people. I think, from what I could tell, he was indeed saying Vito was part of this ESOM campaign. In other words, the ESOM religious people suing him, somehow Vito was involved. And therefore, he's part of a massive conspiracy. But now, magically, he's backing away. Oh no, he's taking two positions. He's saying, no, uh, I don't know, maybe. You're, you're trying to make you're making a claim that I explicitly stated that I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so as so foolish as to do that. So Dick and Vito didn't do this thing. I don't know. You don't know now. No, I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe. Yeah, maybe potentially. Nonetheless, you're going to sit here. You're right. going to sit here and honestly fucking say maybe now. So the nicest thing you could say is, well, he's probably lying, right? He's probably lying. But these are not physical facts. We're not talking about gravity. So getting absolute certainty is unclear. And to be fair, you can kind of see what he's doing, that these are separate categories. We've got Vito. He's a separate entity. we got ESOM, the religious organization. We had his ESOM, his comic book, and himself. And he's trying to be like, well, I never explicitly said Vito and his friend are attacking me and part of the conspiracy. But no, in tweets, you did say that. You've been saying that for months. Now it's like, no, I didn't say that. I mean, I didn't say that explicitly. That's why Rakita, who, by the way, is a racist. This guy's a right-wing maniac. This guy's not like a left-wing communist. He's not a shell for the Democratic Party. He's not like this queer, super pro-trans person who hates Eric July. Because Eric July is pretty right-wing. So he's putting out all these tweets attacking the trans, attacking the Democrats, attacking communists. It's like, all right, he's very polarizing. Now, I am on the left, and I'm a person of color, but... You know, sometimes I think he's correct. With Brie Larson and what they did with Captain Marvel, I agree. They were really destroying the Captain Marvel mythology. They're doing a lot of damage there. And that's what makes this really hard to believe. Like 99% of the time in his videos and tweets, he's like, I'm absolutely sure. Communism evil. Brie Larson evil. MCU evil. La 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 la. But now this 1% of the time with Vito, who he hates and has been sending tons of tweets attacking him, insulting him, insulting his physical appearance, insulting his intelligence. I didn't really say that. I mean, you know, you look at what I says, and Rick Kita's like, what? No, you definitely said that. You definitely, definitely said that. I, I, he's like, what are, what are we doing here? Oh, also, he actually confessed to Rick Kita a crime. He actually confessed, yes, I am committing fraud, which is what Vito was making fun of him. So this is all kinds of craziness. He's just imploding in insanity. And he's probably going to lose a lot of these lawsuits. So, I don't know. We're just laughing at him. We're just laughing at him. It's like, okay, that's, I, I, I can't, I, there is no possible way I am going to out lawyer a lawyer. That? No. No? No. You didn't say that he and Vito were behind that? No. 